sausage stuffed zucchini boats are one of my favorite dishes. Here we're going to be preparing a spicy Italian sausage stuffed zucchini boat with three kinds of cheese, two kinds of cheeses, breadcrumbs, freshly chopped parsley. It's got tomatoes, onions, garlic. It's going to taste fantastic. So let's get started. Hi friends, I'm Gastro Guru and welcome to Gastro Guru Kitchen. Friends, Gastro Guru here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, please go ahead and you know hit the subscribe button so that you know you get new recipes every time I make them. Also make sure you press the bell icon. Alright? So today, friends for you, I'm gonna be preparing sausage stuffed zucchini. So we are gonna use Italian sausage, we're gonna you know cook it and then you're gonna fill the zucchini. And these are gonna be sausage stuffed zucchini boats right because you know you're gonna have the zucchini and it's gonna look like a boat filled with some you know goodies with cargo so let's go with the ingredients for a delicious sausage stuffed zucchini boats all right all right friends so to make our sausage stuffed zucchini boats i have a pound and a half of spicy italian sausage this is ground pre-ground you can even get sausage limbs and take out the meat out of that this is good to go and you have one onion chopped two tomatoes diced chopped whatever you want to call them two cloves of garlic salt black pepper and then we have breadcrumbs a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, some freshly chopped parsley, and then we have three zucchinis that we are going to slice them into half, make them into boats. We're going to hollow out the meat from the zucchini and then add it later. All right, so let's get started. All right, friends, first step. We're going to slice the zucchini. I'm going to take the end off on one side and then I'm going to run the knife in the middle. Try to make it even slice just like that. All right. and the same thing for the second one and the third one. Okay, same thing. In the middle, nice cut. So you have it sliced into two, and then finally the third one. Now, at this stage, what we're going to do is, you know, take a spoon and take out the meat from inside, and you know, save it on the side. So we're going to take all this out, you see it's getting hollowed, and then we're going to use that meat also to add to the, the spicy sausage, all right? But you want to make sure that you hollow out completely, but at the same time make sure you don't make a hole in it. So we're going to take all the meat out, okay, and then you're going to hollow like that. So I'm going to continue doing that to the rest of the zucchini boats and then you know we'll go to the next step, alright? Alright, so we have hollowed all the zucchini and created them into boats and then I saved the meat from it, the flesh from it and I kind of mushed it up with a spoon. So this is what we're going to add when we brown and cook our Italian sausage mix. Before that, what we're going to do is we're going to make the topping all right so the topping what we're going to do is we're going to add quarter cup of 
breadcrumbs, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, okay. and then we're going to add some freshly chopped parsley. All right. So now what we're going to do is give this a quick toss, mix it up, and we're going to take a spoon which has not been used, okay, because we don't want our topping mixture to be soggy. All right, so I have a non-stick large pan, it's preheated. To that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of canola oil. And what you can do is swirl it. So this is like, you know, you can use any other cooking oil as long as it's got a neutral, neutral flavor. You don't want to be using olive oil. All right. Pan's nice and hot. Oil is going to be hot in a minute. So for that, we're going to be adding our Italian spicy sausage mix. This is like ground sausage, basically, out of the casing. this from the spoon. We don't want to lose any of this good stuff. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is break down the sausage mix. And right now I'm cooking on medium high. So break it down. Okay. And we don't need to push too much to it. We don't need to add too much spices and all of that stuff because it's already come seasoned. That's the beauty of it. It's got, you know, all the seasoning in it. We'll just be adding onion and some chopped garlic. Okay. So I'm going to continue doing this until it's cooked and then we'll be adding other ingredients. All right. All right, so our ground Italian sausage, the spicy ground sausage, and it's cooked. So I'm going to add now one chopped onion to that. I don't feel comfortable adding onions or veggies when the meat is raw. Unless you mix it, you know, ahead of time. I'm going to give that a quick toss. Okay. So the onions are mixed in nicely. And I'm going to add two cloves of chopped garlic. Oh yeah, baby. This is going to taste fantastic. Give that a quick toss. Let the chopped onion and garlic do its thing. Then we're going to be adding two large chopped tomatoes. Yep. I thought this is Italian sub sausage, you know, stuffed sausage with these tomatoes. Alright. I'm going to mix that. Add a pinch of salt. Sausage mix already has some salt, so I'm not going to add too much, just a little bit. Okay. And add in some fresh chopped parsley, maybe a cup over here. Add that. Give it a quick toss. And then at this point, we're going to be adding that zucchini meat, that uh, flesh that we had followed the zucchini with our. Alright? That goes in there. That a quick mix. All right, and then we're gonna cook this for another two to three minutes. Sausage is already done, and then we will start filling the zucchini boats once this mixture cools out. All right. So our sausage, spicy sausage, Italian sausage mixture is ready. 
with the onions and garlic and tomatoes and fresh parsley. So we're going to start filling up the zucchini boards with that. Okay. Add like that. And it's okay if some of it falls out because that's, you know, just going to be extra on the floor. All right. So I'm going to continue doing that, adding this to all the boats. And once we're done, we're going to top it with the cheese mixture and then put it in the oven. All right. All right, friends. So a zucchini boats. You know already now what we're going to do is just add some toppings the cheese topping and i have enough of the sausage mixture for a second batch so out of three zucchinis we created six boats right by slicing it half all right so we add this mixture on top this is the mozzarella Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, and fresh parsley mixture. Oh yeah. And you know, you shouldn't worry about if it falls a little bit over, that's okay. This is all gonna be part of our gooey gooey cheesy goodness, all right? All right, so this looks pretty good. It's ample cheese on top. Okay. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. I preheated the oven in the oven at 400 degrees. And since the meat is cooked, I'm just gonna add it to about five to ten minutes just so that the cheese melts and the zucchini becomes tender. Alright? So in the oven for five to 10 minutes at 400 degrees, right? And the, the cheese melts and the zucchini becomes soft. So there you have it folks, a delicious stuffed Italian sausage zucchini boats. They are oozing with goodness and deliciousness with the spicy Italian sausage and cheese, onions, tomatoes. It's gonna taste fantastic. So be sure to check out this recipe on my YouTube channel, Gastro Guru. And do like, share, and subscribe. And also be sure to press the bell icon so that every time I make a new recipe, you get the notification. All right. So thank you very much and bon appetit.